Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to make some maps for my future video on rendering in Marmoset Turbo. So I'm going to take my texture map that I've painted in ZBrush, open up, and I'm going to create specular map, epidermal map, so scatter map and a subdermal map. First thing first, let's create our first map specular map so i'm going to double click on background press enter then i'm going to press alt and drag it on top and make it a copy uh, next step i'm going to go to image adjustment and let's desaturate the this image top image okay perfect now another option to duplicate is right click right click and duplicate layer and press ok now let's go with this layer to filter let's go to author high pass and this should be from 5 to 10 so let's go actually oops let's go to let's go to 10 press ok now let's go and add it to overlay okay perfect now let's press alt and duplicate again and let's go and add some levels like this and let's move this middle one to darker something like is to add a contrast so where will be white we will have specular where will we have black we will have nothing so now let's leave it like this okay now let's press shift and collapse all of this by ctrl e now let's go to filter, blur and surface blur. Okay, radius we will have it to 20 and threshold to 50. I already made a test so that's why it's set to 20. Press OK. And now let's go to file, save as, go to JPEG and let's call it specular save now for subnormal map let's delete this map go back to texture and let's apply hue saturation and let's increase it to around 26 no, i think it's too much let's go back yes 23 let's go and save as Go back to JPEG again and let's call it subdormal map. Save it. For epidermal map, let's go and add. Actually, let's go in here and add minus 23. Enter. And let's save it. press ok now for our final map let's go to hue saturation and let's go to minus hue minus oops 22 and saturation let's increase it to something like something like this shift to select both of them Let's go to Ctrl E to collapse them and let's go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Let's do it too much. Something like this. 5 pixels. Okay, maybe we. Maybe in my next video I'm going to mask some of this map because I think it will be too much but I'm going to make some tests first 
Okay guys, uh, I hope you find this video helpful. I forgot to save it. Let's go save as JPEG and call it Scatter. Okay again guys, <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope this video finds you helpful. You can apply what I've shown you on character and everything that we're going to use surface scattering okay enough for now see you on my next video